Hey, it's uh, time then for our um, second grammar lesson this week. And today we're going to talk about uh, capitalization rules. And um, I want to just uh, direct your attention to uh, the two worksheets that I attached. One is going to be uh, your assignment, but then one is just the rules of capitalization. And we're going to go over those right now. Uh, and so I want you to look at those. That sheet has several circles on it. It says capitalization rules on it. And I want to just real briefly go over those with you. For a lot of you, this is review. But uh, this is also one of those things that we really need to be good at. Your generation and my generation. Your generation is very used to texting uh, where you're just very quickly writing and you're not using a lot of good punctuation, especially capital letters, but you got to know it for formal writing. In my generation, when I was your age, we didn't have texting, but we had AOL Instant Messenger. And really, that's where all this started. We, you know, stopped capitalizing things when we should have. Um, but, get, you know, get these rules down, remember them, try to refresh yourself on them, um, and it's really going to help you out in your writing. First rule uh, on the sheet is capitalize the first letter of every sentence. So every time you have a, a sentence that starts, you're going to have the first letter, letter capitalized. The example here is she paints the picture. Okay. By the way, if you look at your sheet, it says EG. EG uh, is a an abbreviation uh, for two Latin words that I don't remember now, but uh, it it means for example. So whenever you see uh, E.g., that means for example. So for example, she paints the picture. Then the second bubble here, capitalize the pronoun I. So whenever you say I, you capitalize it. You're just that important that we always capitalize ourselves when we say I. E.g., my friend and I go to school together. Capitalize I. Don't leave it small. Don't leave it lowercase. Next bubble says capitalize the names of days months and holidays okay so any day of the week uh, as you want to capitalize as long as it ends with a y i'll let you think about that for a second so any day of the week you want to capitalize it so tuesday monday whatever any any month like august you want to capitalize any holidays easter christmas thanksgiving columbus day uh, veterans day whatever you want to capitalize. Uh, you want to, uh, the next bubble, you want to capitalize proper nouns, the names of people and places. All right. So you have like, uh, for example, John is the name of a person. So you capitalize his name. California is the name of a place. So you would capitalize it. Now here's a caution. Uh, when we're talking about place names, we're talking about specific place names. Uh, and not general. So, for example, if I said I was going to the forest to hike, um, the forest would not be capitalized because that's very general. It could be any forest. Forest. However, if I was, uh, if I said I'm going to Sherwood Forest to meet with Robin Hood and his merry men, well, Sherwood Forest is an, a, a a place name, and so then forest would be capitalized because it's specific. It's not just general. Okay, so make sure you capitalize proper nouns, names of people and places. Next thing, capitalize the first word of a direct quotation. This one we have to think about sometimes because we're not used to maybe writing with quotation marks all the time, except for informal writing. But if you think about it, it makes sense uh, that uh, in this example, Susan said, please pass me the salt that both Susan and please would be uh, uh, would be capitalized because really you have two sentences. You have the sentence that the narrator is saying, uh, Susan said, and you have the sentence that Susan is saying, which is please pass me the salt. So uh, that's why that you capitalize the first word of a direct quotation. And then, uh, and then after that, you want to capitalize the names uh, of languages and nationalities, e.g. French, okay? French is a good example, um, you know, Korean, English, 
All of those things are capitalized because if they're name of a language or nationality, they're capitalized. All right. So you're going to use, uh, well, oh, I didn't scroll down on my document here. There's two more. You Two more bubbles here. You want to capitalize the official title of a person. For example, Dr. William. Uh, whoever Dr. William is, he uh, is, his title is doctor. Uh, you know, like my title is Mr. Wells, Mr. You know, you would capitalize Mr. Okay, so capitalize the official title of a person. And then the last bubble, capitalize the title of books and movies, e.g. the cat in the hat. Okay, so you're going to capitalize those things. Now, you'll notice on that example that not every word in it is capitalized. We don't capitalize, we, we always capitalize the first word no matter what. But after that, we do not capitalize prepositions or articles. Prepositions or articles. Uh, so what we're talking about is basically these kind of little minor words like in and the and that. So we don't we don't capitalize those, but the main the main words we do capitalize. Okay. So here's your assignment. And this is a PDF. If you uh, are able to convert it and, and use this document, you can. Otherwise, you can create a Google Doc uh, and do this assignment. What you do is rewrite this passage with proper ca proper capitalization. Make sure this uh, paragraph is capitalized correctly. And I'm going to give you a hint here. Some of the some of the errors here are words that need capitalized, but some of the errors are words that are already capitalized, but they shouldn't be capitalized. Okay, so you have the two kinds of errors here too, so you want to make sure and look out for that. So rewrite that uh, as correctly. You're going to submit it in a Google Docs. Be sure to click turn it in uh, when you're done. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Be sure to email me, we, wellsdj at hoopston.k12.il.us. Don't forget uh, to like and hit subscribe and do all that other cool YouTube stuff. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.